morning. Why did the Small Biz David Foundation create, develop David's barter community? Well, it's, it's a, a long, uh, involved story that uh, we will try to simplify for you this morning. In, uh, on January 31st, uh, 2011, uh, we first learned about the Startup America Partnership. The Startup America Partnership uh, was a partnership between uh, the United States government, uh, you and I as taxpayers, as well as, uh, and the partnership was with uh, small business or at that, at that time it was just private business uh, and spearheaded by the Kauffman Foundation the Entrepreneurship Foundation uh, located in Kansas City. You hear us talk very often uh, about the Kauffman Foundation. Uh, we are a uh, proud, distinguished partner uh, of the Kauffman Foundation in their Global Entrepreneurship Week initiative. Uh, we've been a distinguished partner for five years now. This, so this is our fifth year. Uh, that event is uh, that week is coming up in November. I believe it's November 15th. You'll hear more and more about it as we get uh, closer to the date. Uh, and the Steve Case Foundation. Uh, Steve Case uh, was one of the two individuals that actually started uh, the original America Online, which evolved into AOL, uh, which was uh, acquired by Time Warner, uh, and through a whole series of events, uh, uh, things happened, but uh, Steve Case took all the money that he made in, uh, in when he sold uh, AOL to uh, Time Warner and created the Steve Case Foundation, which he does very many wonderful things. And one of those things was to provide the seed money uh, for the Startup America Partnership. Why was that partnership started and what has our involvement been? Our involvement being uh, the Small Biz David Foundation and uh, David's Barter community. America certainly needed to get started. <laughs> it's, it's been that way for uh, uh, approaching four years now where we saw we first saw the dramatic downsizing of American business, starting with big business, uh, which failed. The big business model was failing. The General Motors of the world, uh, big banks, big insurance companies. And uh, they were actually forced to go to you and I, taxpayers, uh, and the government to uh, get some bailout money so that they could continue to operate uh, as companies. So in a trickle-down effect, which always happens, when the small business, uh, when the large, this big business model was failing, it trickled down to small business, and small business started their layoffs. It became a horrible, horrible situation. Uh, just two days ago, the, an updated situation was announced that only 80,000 new jobs were created in the month of June of this year. I went back and I did some research and found out that in the last 28 months, 4.4 million new jobs were created. That's a good thing. But when put into perspective, uh, that uh, maybe 4.4 million new jobs, uh, when put into perspective, that's only 150,000 new jobs every month. 
in the last, on the average, in the last 24 months. Sounds like a good figure, but about three years ago, the Kaufman Foundation announced that uh, if we were going to get back to what I call the normalcy in our economy, we needed to create 300,000 new jobs every month. So on the average, in the last 28 months, oh, and we needed to do 300,000 new jobs every month for 36 months, for three years. We're only halfway there. So, on January 31st, 2011, when this partnership was announced, uh, I took it upon uh, the community, as the founder of the community, to commit any resources that we possibly could to help new job, new businesses, new small businesses to get started. Because that's where job number one comes in. And the Kauffman Foundation has consistently told us the major uh, effort, initiative, to create new jobs comes from the starting of new businesses. So we decided that we were going to do whatever we could with our 40 years of experiences in small businesses and working uh, with today's social network technology, what is it that we could do to further that, to help new businesses get started? So we started our journey. The first part of our journey was to uh, create David's Barter community and to launch Small Biz David uh, as a spokesperson for that community. That was our brands. Every business must understand what their brand is. What do they represent? What are they trying to do? So we took the words David's Barter, we took Small Biz David, and we started to build our community. We wanted to make sure that Google, because we are about search, and we'll talk about that in a moment, our community is all about search. We use the Google model of technology, the concept of search to find the information that you need. So our mission was going to provide as much information as we possibly could about starting new small businesses. That's our big theme. We submitted, we started to do our YouTubes uh, in February of this year. And if you Google David's Barter, which uh, I've done, uh, and I'm looking at uh, the search results, of David's Barter, and uh, there are 4,530 results that took 0.22 seconds uh, to find, and we are doing the right things in terms of understanding Google technology and the algorithms that deliver search. That's what we wanted to do. So if you go to David's Barter, uh, first it announces the community. And then there's page after page of information that we have done in the form of YouTubes, in the form of just submitting information to Google+, Plus, which we do every day. And this is uh, how Google has rewarded us. Uh, we've done the right things. If you've been following me since February, uh, one of our major topics of concern uh, has been social marketing. Well, our major topic is social marketing, social network technology, and how they work together to bring to you what we have done today. So we started our own new business, new small business. We have been rewarded, and, and uh, 
you heard me talk, uh, if you've been following me, about, I don't know, it was uh, four or five months ago. Uh, we started to uh, read things about, uh, everybody was concerned, I think it was back in March, March or April, it was March, where uh, Google announced that they were going to penalize, uh, if you will, those efforts, those companies, those marketers who over-optimized, that took uh, what they understood to be the Google technology and tried to trick the search engines into driving traffic to their websites. Finally, after all this time, Google said, no, we're not going to permit over-optimization. We just want proper optimization, and my comment back in March was, thank you, Google, for finally penalizing folks for doing bad marketing, because over-optimization is bad marketing, pure and simple. If you do proper marketing, as we have attempted to do with our community, you'll get the Google results uh, that we see today. So. Go to go to uh, David's Barter, or, or just Google David's Barter, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The same thing happens uh, when you Google Small Biz David. I'm going to share with you an interesting story about that. When you uh, Google uh, Small Biz David, uh, you get the same type of results. Uh, this time you get 8,070 results in 0.18 seconds. You get more results in less time. How cool is that? Uh, but uh, let me share with you an experience that we still don't understand. And if there's somebody that does understand it, please share it with us. Uh, when we first started to Google Small Biz David without quotation marks around it. What the search engine was doing, it was reading small biz space David. And that, we, we, we appeared in those search results, but not to the extent that we now appear if you put small biz David in that quotation mark. So if uh, somebody is listening today, viewing today, uh, please share with us why uh, we needed to put that quotation marks. Uh, at any rate, we get the same kind of results, and uh, uh, interestingly enough, they're starting, Google is starting to pick up things, uh, I just did this yesterday, Small Biz David thanks Michael Gerber for his new book. This was just, oh no, it was done on June 26th. Well, what, what's happening is, Every day, our, our search results change, and that's a good thing. They change because they're bringing more information uh, to, uh, to the, the search results. And uh, now our challenge is to understand uh, why Google makes those changes. What is it that we've done or said that uh, makes them list something higher uh, than something else? It doesn't matter. It's a lot of great information. Okay, that was step number one. Make our presence known in the marketplace. And we want to thank Google uh, for doing that uh, and helping us. And uh, to that point is my small way of saying thank, thank you to Google. One of the uh, major themes uh, that I will be doing every week is sharing with you what is in Small Biz David's Google bag, red Google bag. It is hooked. There it is. It's hooked up. This is my red Google bag. 
and uh, inside of it is uh, everything that I collect about Google, including a picture of Larry Page and uh, a story that occurred last November in Fast Company Magazine, Why Google Will Win. And Google will win because small biz, one of the reasons they'll win is small biz David uses Google every day. Google is an extremely important part of what it is that we do because we need to properly communicate with their search engines so that we can bring to you the full impact of information that we can bring to you that will help you start a new business, a new small business. It starts, it can start today. Uh, if you go to davidsbarter.com uh, to begin the process. When you go to davidsbarter.com, uh, this is the first page that you will see if you have not registered. Uh, we have these are our major themes that we talk about uh, in the community every day. Something about uh, social marketing, social network technology, small business collaboration. Small business collaboration is the most important aspect of new businesses getting started. Small businesses must understand and accept the concept of collaboration. Collaboration is sharing. It might come in the form of barter, and that's one of the reasons why we took on the name Davis Barter. We believe that bartering is a very, very important concept for small business. Bartering is a part of the collaborative effort. So we talk about small business collaboration, and small businesses must collaborate with one another if they are to succeed. Uh, starting a new small business. Uh, small Biz David's Red Google Bag. Uh, small Business Money Matters. Uh, those are the major themes uh, of our community, and uh, every day, every day, uh, either on Google+, Plus or on YouTube, uh, you will see uh, one of those topics. And as we uh, download our YouTube videos into our community, uh, you'll see over here uh, a graphic diagram. And it will, that will categorize that particular YouTube in one of these categories. OK, what's this red box all about? Very, very important uh, into the scheme of things. I've actually made a, a reproduction here. When you come to the community, uh, you create a username for yourself. And we highly recommend that that username has something to do with your particular branding. What is it that you want to communicate uh, to the marketplace about yourself or about your business? Obviously, our username, my username is Small Biz David. Then you uh, give us your email address. Now, let's talk about that for a moment. Inside our community, inside the firewalls of our community, and we do have, we have created our own firewalls. And in fact, uh, there is a server uh, at that corner of the house. Actually, the server is right underneath us. Uh, now that I think about it, uh, we have our own server. We created our own uh, community, our own firewalls so that everything that happens in the community stays in the community, doesn't go anyplace, stays in the community. We do not support email coming into the community or email leaving the community. We don't need it. Uh, we have found for our purposes, 
email marketing to be very uh, ineffective. So we don't support it. Instead, we've created a community messaging system. And uh, you can use this messaging system to communicate with other members of the community only by registering to become a member of the community. Now, the reason that we ask for your email address uh, is to attempt to understand that you are a real person uh, giving us real information. We send an autoresponder to that address just as a, a, a means, a simple means, of us to understand if you are in fact uh, a real entity uh, and not a, a robot uh, trying to come into the community uh, and gather whatever information it is you can. That's why we went to the extra uh, precaution to protect your privacy uh, and, and to protect uh, the integrity of the community. Because what we, what we want happening in the community to stay in the community. And we want you to register to become a member of the community. Okay, so we send an autoresponder to the address that you provide us. And we know if that autoresponder has reached its destination through technology. That will also give you the next steps of registering, but it's not necessary. You can continue the registration process. Then you create a password for yourself, uh, and you can turn your password. And of course, uh, once again, to uh, protect the integrity of the community, have you uh, type in the, the, the words uh, that you see in the CAPTCHA uh, format, and then you create a new account. When you create a new account, the next time you come into the community, uh, you will see a, you, you go to the tab up on top that says uh, community, uh, and then you log in with the password that you have created. Uh, Small Biz David uh, is the username, the password. I can share that with you. Then when I log in, I come to a page that uh, looks like this. Uh, this is what we call the Community Bulletin Board. And that's where we download all the, or we download the most important YouTubes that we do. So you can actually view them in the community, get the answer, see which one of the seven areas uh, that is a concern. <coughs> At this point, uh, you can also download uh, a PDF of my book, How Do You Answer These 749 Questions About Your Small Business. Uh, it's a book that I wrote uh, four years ago. And uh, I, I did not write the book with knowing exactly what was going to happen to it. And here it is four years later that it's an extremely important part of the way that we communicate with one another in the community. If you have 749 questions, you have at least 749 keywords. And we list all those keywords, as we did four years ago, uh, in the keyword index. No, keyword index. When you look at these keywords, It'll tell you what question in the book, not what page in the book, but what question in the book uses those keywords. Now, it's important that you understand those keywords because that's how people will communicate. And what you will do uh, right away is establish a marketing profile for yourself. 
it's complimentary. I, re, I, you can register for the community. That's complimentary. You can you you really need to create a complimentary community marketing profile for yourself because that's how other members of the community will find you based upon the keywords that you use in your marketing profile. I need to log out. I'm going to log back in. I actually logged in as an administrator last time. I'm going to, I'm going to log in as Small Biz David. Okay, now here, oh, what happened to my market? Curtis, where's my marketing? There's six fields of information in the marketing profile. None of it is private information. All of it is information important for someone trying to find you in the community because we have search engines on every page of the community. So you will use those keywords put into our proprietary search engine. It's, it's our search engine using the 749 keywords. Uh, from my book. That's why it's important to get a copy, to get a, a complimentary PDF uh, download of the book. And also, every day that we do a YouTube, we create more keywords. So there's two lists of keywords actually, 749 of them from the book. And now we have another probably 350, maybe 400 new keywords that have been created from all the YouTube videos that we have done. That's all part of the optimization process is to create key words. In summary, let's do a summary statement. We are very proud of the commitment that we made to the Startup America Partnership over a year ago, and we have provided the social marketing, social network technology platform for our community, and that's what we committed to do. Now we are making that social marketing, social network technology available to you, and for 10,000 entrepreneurs who want to start a business. They can use our technology and our social marketing efforts for a complimentary period of 50 days to see if it can work for you. Uh, there's no reason why it can, can't work for you if you just do what I have done. Uh, in our next YouTube, we will uh, talk about uh, why is small biz David why is davidsbarter.com, small biz David, a very optimized, very Googleized community landing page that you can try out for yourself for a period of 50 days? It can work. It works for us. There's no reason why it can't work for you using your value proposition, what it is that you bring to the marketplace. Uh, and we'll talk about our optimized, uh, Googleized landing page in our next YouTube.